Displace modifier. The displace modifier is used to deform an object. Uh, we're going to distort it or deform the object. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick on our box here. We're going to come up into my modify tab of my command panel. And I'm going to go and hit the drop down menu. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose my displace uh, modifier. Um, so I go to displace. And let's start off with just doing a displace uh, in the displacement area here. We have a strength. And the strength is used to displace the object towards the gizmo. So I'll put a 5 in there, for example. And you can see I moved it up. So I'll maybe make it a little taller here. I'll go 20. You can see I'm displacing it from away from this box. So if it's set to zero, it's sitting on the box. So if it's a negative, right, it's a negative five, it's going down into the box. So we're just displacing or changing its position. Uh, so our decay is used to decrease the strength of the displacement based on the distance of the object from the gizmo. Um, so a couple of simple ones here, but down here we have an image. Let's take a look at this. Um, we can go and basically uh, go and say, all right, we're going to choose bitmap, and right now it's none. So I'm going to click on the none button, and I'm going to go up, and I'm going to choose an, an image. And I'm going to go into my documents here, and uh, I'll go into my images, and I'm just going to go to, uh, I'm going to go with a, a logo bump here. Here is my logo bump file, color bump file. I'm going to say open. And what happens is it's uh, put that down onto the, the surface here, but I got to change the strength. So if I change the strength to five, it's now changing and projecting that, that strength of that object. Uh, it's moving that object. But it's kind of not so great looking because if I look at my box, my segments are kind of low. I'm going to kick up my segments. All right. I'm going to put 200, com or 200, 200. And now you can kind of see um, that I have, it's been pushed out. And if I go and look at my top view here, you can see how I have that KCC with the wave here. So I am pushing that object up out and uh, so and I can set my strength to be whatever number I want here right upwards or downwards so I can go negative two for example to have it go downwards um, I can remove the bitmap by picking on bitmap now I can also go to the mapping group to assign a map to the object so I can go over to my maps and I can choose any map to the object that I want to displace. So I could go like say for checker and I might want to come in and change some properties of my mappings. For example, I want to change my tiles. I might want to go five and five. Okay. And now I am applying that displacement of that checker map onto the surface. And how far am I changing it? Right now I got a negative two, but I could go a positive five and it displace it five units away, for example. So um, this works really well for a mapping of any kind. And so essentially my displacement modifier deforms the shape of the object. We can either do it straight with a straight displacement, moving it in one direction or another, or we can use an image and put a bitmap image in, or we can do it with a mapping. And I'm going to remove the mapping now, and I could also blur that. So I'm going to go back, and I'll put that checker back in there. And I could also blur it, so I can give it a little blurriness to the object here. And you can see how it blurs some of the lines, smooths them out, etc. 
So our displace modifier is an object space modifier that's used to deform the shape of the object and distort the object either by using the gizmo or using a bitmap image.